Hello active traders and welcome to our Breakout Mastery annual once a year uh, premier preview event. This is Ken Calhoun, your host, president of the original Day Trading University, Swing Trading University, E-Mini University, dot coms, and Trade Mastery. I wanted to welcome everybody here tonight. We've got a really exciting session lined up for you tonight with our markets being up and down as much as they've been lately. Uh, it's a really good idea to arm yourself with professional breakout trading strategies so that you're limiting your focus and your exposure to the very best choice charts that are most likely to keep going up after you get in. As always, all information is for educational use only. I'm not making advice about to buy, sell, or hold, and by watching the screen, not to make actual trades. So, your goal is to make as much money as possible with your winning trades. My goal is to help you get there as quickly as we can with what we'll be covering in Breakout Master during this upcoming year ahead. This has been such a popular series that hundreds of traders have been with me over the years in my Breakout Mastery annual coaching program. It's not three to five thousand dollars like competitors charge. It's only four ninety seven for the entire year, which is uh, quite a bit less than my normal twelve ninety five a year, and that's still a great deal compared to what other people charge. So you can see several hundred comments from excited traders here, over two hundred and eighty three comments from traders uh, from earlier, from last year and the year before. So it's great to see all the nice kind words from traders around the world and how much value they found and what they learned from me. So thank you so much for keeping it real. Anyway, let's take a look at what we're going to be covering tonight. We want to cover how to avoid false breakouts. And you've all had that experience. You've gotten into a trade that looked good at the time uh, and then it turned against you. How do we avoid that? And so that's one of the key things that I want to cover with a series of very practical, useful strategies with live market charts tonight. You know, we're going to be looking at some hot charts tonight. If you look at the broad market, you know, instruments like the E-minis would be really stupid to day trade, right? Anybody who says, be an E-mini day trader and you too can make your fortune trading. Run, don't walk. I don't know anybody who's consistently profitable day trading the E-mini. That's a moron's market. The only time you would trade instruments that are tied to the exchanges, index tied instruments, are at gap and two-day highs and up for longs and gap and two-day lows for sell-offs. The other rest of the time, you're just going to get your head handed to you, son. Because you're going to get chopped out. Chop, 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 chop. So you do not want to day trade the E-minis. That's a stupid thing to trade. What you want to do as a professional trader is swing trade stocks or your inverses that actually have a shot of running for you consistently over time. Okay, so make sure that you're trading the right markets in the right way. Don't be misled by all these people with the fool's gold promises of instant riches with risky instruments like options, penny stocks, E-minis. Yeah, the leverage is there for a reason, because it's a sucker's bet. It's fool's gold. It's like cubic zirconium. It's shiny and bright and glittery until you take a careful look inside and you see it's just a bunch of hoopla. So what you want to do is get a good grounded professional trading education. I'm the industry's one of the top experts. The other guy I know who's a great breakout trader is Harry Boxer. He's a great guy at breakout trades too. But learn from those of us who know what we're talking about. You know, I've traded inverses successfully lately, and that's always a nice thing to see, learning from a real trader. First tip that I want to give you, and this is me scalping on the open, so this is 600 bucks the hard way, okay? But one thing I want you to learn is I was wrong 70% of the time or more in this day's session. I was trading aggressively with lots and lots of tiny stops with $1 commissions in my interactive broker's account. Still made $660, so I worked really hard for it. Your goal as a professional trader is to make money even if you're only right 30% of the time. Most of the professional traders, whether they're in the, the Chicago futures pits or uh, distance electronic traders or whatever, or guys on or off floor, uh, they're not right 50% of the time or more. They're on the direct opposite. Most of the professional guys I know, my institutional clients, that's not part of their conversation. What percentage of winning trades did you have? It's all how much money did you make <laughs> or lose today. And to make money as a trader, your wins have to be bigger than your stops. So make sure you have really, really tight, excruciatingly tight stops. Now, if you like to swing for the fences, I was trading MGM, 2,000 shares. I was long 30 grand worth of MGM stock and, or I'm sorry, it's 19, okay, $20,700 worth of MGM stock, 20 grand. I made $3,700 in a single day. Boom, flawless victory. So that's $3,000 the easy way. So you can scalp this way, which is painstaking. Uh, you could still make money with that, but I would advocate a more simpler 
more structured, more correct breakout trading strategy. Uh, and I'm a guy who actually can do it, so I wanted to teach you some of what I've learned in tonight's preview event to get you excited about joining me for Breakout Mastery in the upcoming year ahead. Let me ask a quick question. What is, and I'm curious, what is the most you've ever lost in a trade? Now, don't feel bad. I remember I had started a trading group in another state many years ago, back in the year 2000, and I had one woman tell me in the first nine months of day trading, she lost $104,000, and my jaw almost dropped and hit the floor. But it didn't because she was cute and she wanted to go out with me. But anyway, I, I didn't beat up on her. I took her out and had fun with her. But the, anyway, she said she lost 104 large, $104,000 in nine months. That's the, the record I've heard, and uh, I think that's too much. I think there is a better way to spend your money. Uh, the main thing is don't waste it on bad educators and don't waste it on big stops. Let's say I'm seeing 50 grand, 12 grand, 12 grand, 600, 3200, 1100, 1800, 2200, 9500, 85,000. Really rich. Okay, well, so you guys are losing way too much money, so stop it. You want to make money. Easier said than done. Start small. I like a small ball approach. We're trading small. Beware of these so-called trading champions. Ask them what they're champions of, and you'll find out. Uh, in many cases, they are like scalping for three to five ticks in futures contracts, trading like 50 contracts at a time. I don't know about you, but I think that's stupidly risky and not a good way to teach people how to trade. Uh, and ask who they're trading against. I've never been invited to a trading championship, and neither have any of my colleagues that I know of, the top industry experts or the Wall Street guys. We never get invited to these marketing championships. They're just put on as hoopla by Internet marketers that want to do JV relationships and cross-promote. So when everyone says, you know, I'm a trading champion, I'll ask of trading what exactly did you trade? Uh, 60 contracts of the minis for six ticks at a time. Oh, okay, well, thanks anyway, Sparky. That's not how you actually want to learn how to trade. You want to trade safe instruments. And who did you win against? Oh, my buddy I invited. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me know how that works out for you. So take all that stuff with a grain of salt. Learn from professional traders like myself, Harry Boxer, Steve Nissen, Tony Turner, Price Headley, Peter Bain, people who know what we're talking about. Anyway, if you got questions, ask me tonight. I'm here for you. Thanks to all of you who've been seeing me lately uh, at the Traders Expos. Uh, it's always great to see standing room only crowds and cheering fans and all that kind of stuff. Uh, or me in the stocks and commodities issues lately. You may have seen me in this month's issue or last month's issue, high volume breakouts. Or in the December issue, trading first star breakouts. There I am again. There's Ken. Everywhere I look, there's Ken Calhoun teaching how to trade breakouts. I'm the world's top breakout teacher, and one of the things I want you to learn, or one of the top, I would say, I, I'll let you folks be the judge, but look at these stocks and commodities issues for really good, sensible, actionable data on specific patterns I've used. I've traded millions of dollars worth of breakouts uh, with proof that I've done so, right? 16 grand, 4 million in order, almost 5 million in order flow in a single year. Boom proof screen caps. Anyway, I'm a real breakout trader and an industry expert. What I want you folks to do is stop donating money to the market with bad breakouts gone wrong, right? Look at gap continuation breakouts. That's the, if, of all the breakout articles, that's one I would choose as being one of the more valuable ones because that's my favorite breakout strategy, which is why I wrote about it first in September 2015. Um, just a quick reminder, too, I'm doing a webinar on behalf of Money Show next Tuesday, the 26th. And so uh, that's absolutely free, and you can register for that on Advanced Gap and Breakout Swing Trading. I'll probably focus a little more on gaps than on breakouts, but mostly on stocks and ETFs. So anyways, just wanted to establish that I know what I'm talking about, and I'm a real trader with proof that I know how to actually trade, and I've made lots of real money wins. I'm still a small-scale trader, though. That's If I were to say my biggest weakness is... I never got big in my trading. You know, my idea of a great day trading is if I make, say, $800, right? To me, that's a good day trading. A lot of my clients, my institutional guys or my Wall Street traders or my large cap, uh, you know, retail traders, at-home traders, to them maybe $2,500 is a good day. $800 is kind of second place, just an okay day. So that's kind of a 
in marketing you call it a damaging admission but that's the my weakness as a trader why I'm still in the education industry is I'm still kind of small potatoes I don't like trading over a few hundred shares to me four or five hundred shares is more than enough to make a trade go right okay so that's my weakness as a trader and I freely confess to that if I could trade larger size you wouldn't see me right but I make it up on leverage by trading the world training the world's traders how to trade the markets and if you see me in Las Vegas, I'm always surrounded by showgirls. I got that idea from Mayor Goodman, who is a, a great mayor for the city. Anyway, who can break out mastery help? We're going to look at charts and patterns coming up in just a minute. But first, let's take a quick look at an overview of the program of what it's all about. It's for both intraday and swing traders. You know, I'm really proud of my traders because you guys are so smart. I had in my live room today, here's our winning calls and the stop. We had one single stop and woof, but... We started off the day with a, a stop loss and woof. I tried to go short of 48.8 and we got stopped out. Then we flipped to long at 49.6 right here and again at 49.8. And I had them sell at 50.4. So we got just right under the exact top. So that's, and that's from one of my traders. And so I appreciate the trader this morning in my trading room that said that would be a good chart. Minor gap continuations are always going to be your signature play for the best of all possible breakouts so that's one thing to make sure that whether you're swing or day trading you set that up and if you do say a swing trade let's see about that for a swing trade my maximum stop loss on this chart would be if it got under 47 just under the previous day's high so whether you're day trading these or swing trading these uh, I'm really proud of my trader who mentioned this because this is the exact kind of chart that I try and teach the world's traders to look for nice cleanly well-defined trading wide point range high volume chart that did a minor gap and kept running on up you know two and a half points for us so those are the type of charts we like to look at around these here parts not some cheap five dollar junk charts or or risky e-minis that chop around all the time we like charts that have have some rhythm and some pace and some profit potential that actually run up for us I'm long FAZ I'm long UVXY we'll see if I'm long and right or long and wrong as the market progresses but I'm overall short the market. So anyway, if you want to make money as a trader, make sure that you start off small size and then work into it. Don't risk too much. All right, so we're going to look at some patterns that you can start trading immediately in just a second. One of the things that I do in Breakout Mastery, a few unique things compared to my other training that you may find of a special value that hundreds of traders have is we use advanced charts. You'll notice that the charts in Breakout Mastery have black backgrounds, and these are different charts than I use in my regular training. Uh, and we have a much more keen focus on profit and loss P&L management. Uh, and we also have interactive activities. And so we have Q&A. We have charts of your choice. We have uh, interactive ask questions like you can do right now if you want to ask questions. You know, I've got hundreds of you here. I'll still field all the questions. I will stick around and answer questions tonight for you guys. Uh, I want you to see exactly how to trade correctly. Mastering breakout trades is one of the top two skills a trader can possess. Money management is the other. I've trained thousands of traders both in person and via my articles and industry appearances and the best traders in the world have two things in common that the rest of the world doesn't have. Number one is really tight stops. Okay, That's the number one thing. Keep really tight stops because the market's going to be fickle and even though it looked great at the time, your trades are going to stall and stop half the time or more. So you have to have really tight stops. That's number one skill. The other is making sure that you uh, get the very best breakouts that are likely to continue after you get in with nice 45 degree angle, nice strong continuous breakouts, look like a piece of string tied tight like the FAZ chart. Those are the type of breakout charts from a scanning standpoint uh, that you want to get into. And the reason is you want to avoid false breakouts. That's one of the key skills that you need to get right. It's not enough to buy a new high. Any moron can buy a new high. The trick is buying a high that's likely at a kind of a magnetic approach to trading that's likely. And don't copy that, all my stupid competitors who are listening. You guys are just lame. Anyway, I originate, and it's like we said at Ford Motor Company when I was a statistician there back in the 90s. Our job is to innovate faster than the competition can copy us because everybody copied us at Ford. Well, everyone copies me at Day Trading University and Trade Mastery. They copied my university names, my mastery titles. Uh, my real trading proof examples, all that kind of stuff, but they can't they can't copy the success rate. And so anyway, avoiding false breakouts another quick thing to do. 
What I call this is kind of an immersion coaching because you get answers about how to trade breakouts with better entries, more intelligent, strategic, step-by-step -step timing skills, and strong breakout trades well explained. And the goal is for you to learn price action breakout trading and also create an update each month, a personal action plan that works best for you throughout the year. And it's a really good strategy. I'm not charging, you know, like $900 a quarter or something like that like competitors do for their live rooms. Uh, it's just 500 for the entire year. So it's a heck of a deal. And we just meet once a month. It's the last Wednesday of each month. And it's, uh, if you have questions, you can send them to me in between sessions and we will answer the questions during that uh, webinar event as well. So another good way for you to learn with interactive chart breakout training. If you have trades that went sideways or against you, I welcome them. That's one of the highlights of breakout mastery is you can bring your actual trades, uh, warts and all, uh, stop losses you took. And uh, almost I'll tell you from experience, doing this with hundreds of traders, the number one thing I find is that you guys are trading charts you shouldn't have been trading in the first place. They'll ask about some stupid chart that's choppy and sideways that you shouldn't be trading in the first place. One of the things we do in Breakout Mastery is let me get the quote box, is we update every single month a focus list with brand new charts. There is the December list. Uh, brand new charts every single month that we look at for entries and exits and we explain how those work. So that's another thing that we look at for you as kind of a value added benefit when you're looking for some of the very strongest charts compared to the others or early reversals. We cover those as well. So anyway, let's get into the heart of this. We'll take a look at some charts right now, but first I want to give you a heads up on the agenda of what we'll be looking at. Some of the things that we cover in Breakout Mastery are how to avoid false breakouts. Also sequential breakout trading and how to drill down for entries when it comes to which charts are best to trade and which ones are best left alone, right? Kind of like stop lights and red lights are kind of an example when you're looking for drilling down. One of the strategies that I teach traders is, for example, energy and the inverse ETFs are really strong right now. So we look at sectors, uh, biotechs and transports had been strong earlier. Uh, oil may be making a comeback. Gold is volatile. And we look at which sectors are strong as well as strategies, breakout sector trading strategies that I don't cover anywhere else. Also how to transform your own personal entry strategy from wherever you're at to a more thoughtful, more step-by-step -step way to set entry triggers and a more careful uh, sequential position sizing or scaling approach. And also how to get out of town, get out of Dodge when the getting's good to take the money and run before good trades go bad. So once it's in the money, what's a reversal signal? A good example of that is found in our daily charts. Oftentimes what you'll find is a on a 90-day chart, if you see two red candles in a row, a loss of two reds, for example, SRTY, a hard place, a, a hard stop on this would be say 37.50. Anytime, let's say I'm long from 30 or 32 and it's in the money. Anytime you see two opposing candles, whether it's for a swing trading chart or if you're doing a day trading breakout like we are in CRZO, anytime you see, let's do a five minute chart here. Anytime you see two red candles in a row, that's a good time to exit the initial trade and then re-enter over a cut pattern breakout continuation. And where's the next time we saw two red candles? Who can tell me that candle pattern? And again, for more on candles, learn from Steve Nissen. I did, and they work, like gangbusters. What's that candle? Now, that's kind of voice of the east. Those are easy to spot. And sure enough, that was the exact high of the day. Bum, 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 bum. The force is strong with this one. <sighs> well, you have two red candles in a row, gang, so that makes for a good exit on a loss of the two red candles. That's a good hit-and-run day trading strategy. We also do this with swing trades as well. But, you know, that's a takeaway from today's session. If you get in, you're in the money, you see two red candles that loses it, even by a penny or two, close out the trade because often it'll drop down. So lock in a profit. You can always re-enter. You can always rebuy a new high, whether you're swing or intraday trading. So I will always use maybe 10 to 15 cents above the cut pattern high as a re-entry trigger, say 2010, 2020. And once it runs up, if you see a shooting star, Accompanied by either bearish engulfment as a second or just a loss of the shooting star is a good reason to get out, right? Classic candlestick training. 
I like to use two red candles as the reason to get out. And so if I see a loss of two red candles, that's your exit. So in a 2020 out of 2170, do you think you can make some money taking a dollar or so out of these charts? Now you can see why these charts are markedly superior to those morons who trade E-minis. Hey, let's trade the E-minis. What they don't tell you, the dirty little secret about E-mini trading is you get stopped out more often than not and it's hard as heck to trade. Let's do 30 contracts and try and give six ticks out of it. Stopped out, you go short, oop, get stopped out. Go short again, oop, get stopped out. Let's go long, oop, get stopped out. Oops, 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 oops. Epic fail. E-mini day trading is for morons. The only time you would day trade the E-minis is at a two-day high continuation or gap continuation. Just because it's easy to leverage doesn't mean it's worth trading. Just all the glitters isn't gold, right? Just like fool's gold or cubic zirconium, that's what penny stocks and E-minis are for the trading industry, a blight upon the industry. What you want to do is trade instruments that go a little something like this on a breakout. Or like my smart trader said today, this one woof on the first leg of the breakout. And we exited at the pivot, right? So anyway, looking for the smartest, most intelligent charts, whether you're intraday trading or swing trading for continuation plays or pivots, you know, one thing that we'll cover, for example, CRZO, that was a chart we were just looking at. We have a hammer bottom here and we've got a kind of a bullish engulfment here. So a long trigger for a swing trader would be somewhere over 23. Again, that's not a trading recommendation. But that's where I'm looking to buy it myself my own Fidelity account on 2350 for a long with a maximum stop of, say, 21, just a couple of sticks under, a couple of points under. One thing we cover in Breakout Mastery is these type of pivot plays on reversals as well as continuation plays in rock star long charts like this one. Okay, so the intelligence that you're seeing here is what we do throughout the entire year ahead. I'm a former corporate statistician and quality engineer, UCLA grad, multiple degrees, Workaholic certified genius with a Stanford Binet IQ of 164. And that and $3 will get me a Starbucks. But the point is, uh, I've done millions of dollars worth of real money trades with a little bit of important thing called proof. Uh, and I can teach you guys how I trade. The difference between my winning breakouts and anything else out there that you may be looking at. Anyway, my point is you could bring your charts of failed trades to each breakout mastery session. And we go over those. That's one of the highlights of the breakout mastery events is traders will say, hey, Ken, I tried to trade this chart. Why did I get stopped out? Nine times out of ten, it's because it was a chart you shouldn't have traded in the first place because the range was too low or the volatility was too low. Or there was some danger sign like a, a, you know, a bearish candle reversal pattern right before you got in. So why in heck did, why in heck did you buy it there? Now, I'm very polite when I say that kind of thing. I bite my tongue, and I'm pretty plain-spoken and direct and a straight shooter, so I'm kind of blunt sometimes, but I try to soften it by saying, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked. I appreciate your asking the question. And then the reason why that trade didn't work out is probably because we didn't have a 10% range on a 15-day chart or didn't have at least a million shares volume. Or you're asking me about a $3 stock, and we don't do those around these here parts because they usually stop you out. So instead, I give you a transformational approach or a corrective approach for whatever ails you as a trader throughout Breakout Mastery as an interactive coaching program all year long. So let's look at how to avoid false breakouts, a quick introduction. Here's some price filters you might want to play around with. For stocks and ETFs, either day for day trades, 35 cents or so above the previous day's high is a general rule of thumb. So if it's a stock whose previous day high was $30 even, let's just keep it simple, the breakout long trigger today would be 30.35, maybe 30.40. For a swing trade, it would be 50, $0.50 cents above a 15-day high. So let's say you're looking for a swing trade in, let's do some audience interaction here, a swing trade in FAZ. About where would be your long trigger to buy FAZ for a swing trading breakout if, in fact, you want to wait 50 cents above the nearest whole number high? That would put you long earliest at not the stupid place, which would be 60 to 62. More on retail traders who lose their shirts would be, yeah, let's buy and hope it goes up to the moon. No, Sparky, that's going to stall. Everybody who's long is going to be selling to you here. My institutional guys are going to be selling at 61.50. I teach them how to do that. So you guys need to be armed with what I teach the world's professional traders as well. Another benefit to learning with me. And I don't charge hardly anything for my training because I make it up on volume. I have hundreds of you here tonight, and it's such big turnouts. Uh, it's one thing I learned from my colleague Brian Tracy. He's done over $1.5 billion in info sales and worth every penny because he sold millions of uh, books and 
uh, educational materials at a bargain price and has helped the world. So that's, I'm a big fan of Brian Tracy. He's my role model. So I like to keep my pricing reasonable uh, and the content value extremely high. Anyway, so no, you don't want to buy the closing range of a bullish cup, which is here. 62.30, 62.50 or so would be uh, the, the breakout here. A question from Michael. I'll answer it. What have you learned from the tough quality engineering world? Yeah, I'm a CQE, too. I got my certified quality engineering designation from ASQC back in 2000. No, I'm sorry, 1992. It was uh, mainly variance uh, in process and quality engineering. You're looking at variability manufacturing. You want everything to nominal. There's something called a Taguchi loss function, meaning the farther you get away from nominal, the more expensive that part becomes because you're trying to build a, a car and we got 5000 parts. If the bolt is a little bit large and the nut is a little bit small and the machine welded piece of metal is a little bit off, all that stuff adds up to a bathtub curve and reliability being earlier and the wear out comes in earlier. So see, I'm a real quality engineer. Anyway, that type of thinking uh, in trading, and I, I love quality engineering. I used to teach TQM and statistics courses for years. What, and in my corporate training, uh, my, my corporate clients, uh, anyway, in trading, we want the exact opposite. You're looking for things to go out of control. And in, in engineering, manufacturing, production environment, you look at process capability charts, control charts, CPK values. You look at poke yoke and your or idiot proofing, or as it used to be called, baka yoke, uh, uh, clumsy proofing your uh, your uh, manufacturing, engineering, design processes. As a trader, you want things that are going wildly out of control and strong breakouts. So it's the exact opposite of the mirror image opposite. Just like how FAZ is the mirror image opposite of FAS, right? That's the long finance triple ETF. FAZ is going up. So anyway, you want things that are going wildly out of control profitably in your favor as a trader. So that's a quick heads up on what I learned from quality engineering and how it applies to the wide, wide world of professional trading. Another thing here is variance. And so what's, uh, and in manufacturing, you're trying to get rid of variability. In breakout trading, you're trying to make money. And one of the things you want to do is avoid variance or problems in poker, too, and uh, hold them. Uh, you have variability or variance that causes problems. Uh, in trading, you want to have a very intelligent strategic approach where you're avoiding the false breakout regions by using what I call a false breakout price filter, a good price action strategy that keeps you out of a breakout right above a high. I don't know how many of you have had the experience where so you've bought in as soon as something breaks resistance because you don't want to miss out on the big one and it runs up all of a, a dime or 20 cents and then turns tail and goes against you and takes out a stop. Then it runs way up without you. Very frustrating. I even had competitors rip that off. They know who they are. Ha. Huh. Well, whoosh this, baby. What you're looking for is avoiding false breakouts using things like Forex uh, filters, say 40 pips above the current high. e is a minimum three to six ticks above the current cut pattern, whether you're trading uh, the ES or the NQ or the YM or whatnot. So you need to have some kind of a false breakout price filter set above the current range. And these vary depending on the market condition you're in. So, uh, so good point. Oh, thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. So, oh, thanks. Phil saying Ken's a truth warrior. He tells you accurately what to do to win. Yeah, I'm here for the world's traders. I want you guys to actually make it. You know, voice of competency and reason and professionalism in a, like Obi-Wan Kenobi said to Ben in the original Star Wars Moss Eisley Spaceport, you'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. And that's the way I feel about the trading education industry. There's a few bright stars out there, smart guys like Steve Nesson and Harry Boxer and Tony Turner and, uh, and Price Headley and, uh, and uh, Peter Bain and a, a few people, but the most of the people out there are morons. So feed your mind the correct thinking or what Napoleon Hill would say, correct thinking. Anyway. There's also volatility filters that you got to apply to your charts. And I teach you how to do, do these and avoiding false breakouts in breakout mastery as well. Time of day, day of week, market opens. For example, that's why I only run my live room Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday mornings because that's the best kind of filet mignon or the best prime time to be trading open range breakouts. Not on the shoulder days, right before or after weekends or major holidays for that matter. The best volatility is midweek opens. So you want to selectively make sure you're trading those time frames and giving professional preference to those as you make your trading decisions. 
Also other market internal signals like the arms index, also known as the trend, your VIX, out days versus end days, moves after strong average true range extensions or after strong average directional index breakout days. Okay, for example, we're going to cover a lot more in charts. I'm almost done with the PowerPoints, but here's a good example of an ADX that broke out over 40, which is my minimum threshold right here on January 8th and FAZ on this day. That was the signal day. The trading day would be any day after that day, at least 50 cents above the high for an entry. And that swing trade would have worked out beautifully, up nearly 10 points, ran up actually 11 points from that signal. Right, so ADX, once it breaks or pierces 40 on a stock chart, usually means it's a good entry on a day subsequent to that on a new high price breakout. Okay, even if you do have, even if you're bedeviled with occasional tweezer tops or shooting stars or whatnot, uh, it's still a good breakout continuation runner and up 10 points from the entry. And that's because average directional index gave it the green light to make that trading decision. And that type of thoughtful step-by-step -step trading approach is what I like to teach. We're going to go through all these charts in a second, too. So let me wrap up with the, I think I'm almost done with PowerPoints. I just wanted to give you a couple of kind of whet your appetite in terms of some of the thought process that we take here. Uh, this is a very good, well-designed professional trading coaching program, and it should be priced much higher. I'm going to be updating the website probably March. I'm swamped the next few months. but I will be updating the Breakout Mastery website and increasing the price exponentially as I always do. But during this one limited January time window, as I always do normally, it's $6.95 is the discount annual price, if you remember from years past. Uh, but I'm giving you guys the same price that I offer my renewing, which I have so many people that are with me year after year in Breakout Mastery because the value they find in it. And I wanted to say thank you very much to all of you who've been with me for so many years in Breakout Mastery. I'm giving the world that $4.90 five or four ninety seven price whatever it's what did I set it at four ninety seven for one year uh, or you can do a monthly subscription plan so anyway you can see the topics that we'll be covering and the dates it's the last make it easy to remember the last Wednesday of every single month and we have high resolution download of each month in the members area for you to download in case you can't miss make it in person if you miss a session uh, the video they're removed each month so be sure to log in that month and download that you got 30 days to download it so you've got the videos in the members area as well as interactive q a it's always good to be there in person so you can ask me questions about your favorite charts now let's take a look at an advanced strategy thinking that you want to look at depth of recent cups and candles is a very important key volatility indicator one of my favorite chart patterns that i've taught for years is on the daily candlestick chart I like steve i like a 90-day candlestick chart if you are looking for a potential pivot, always mark out your bullish cut patterns and look to wait until you get a nice large candle. Oftentimes, the best pattern is a wide range candle at the right side of a cup. I taught that, and one competitor ripped that off too and gave it some fancy name. But anyway, I originated that. A tall candle like this at the right side of a bullish cup often is a good volatility attraction or a good volatility indicator that new buyers are going to come in after that because supply has been dried up by the institutional traders. Always think like an institutional trader and learn from me, an actual real trader, not people who just copy me and try and copy all my quotes. Here's a good example of that pattern. Wide range candle at the right side of a bull cup often attracts new buyers afterwards. So looking for those type of chart setups is one of the things from a depth of recent cup and depth of candle and they update they're changed each month in terms of the specific parameters to look for and I keep you up to date with those in breakout mastery so that's kind of the basic pattern but the updates are what's really valuable because it's kind of like if you've ever seen Star Trek and the Borg are trying to get on the uh, on the bridge of the Enterprise or I actually like Voyager because I like Jerry Ryan in a cat suit but that's just me anyway you have to rotate the shield frequency to keep the Borg off the the bridge one of the things you want to do as a professional trader is look at the difference or the Delta and the height of candles for momentum breakouts and that varies as a function of what what do you think function of how strong the S&P is right how strong the market is that month if it's a strong up or a sideways or a strong down market those parameters will change the neat thing is they're easy to remember I keep it simple I'll say is it's going to be a twice whole real body candle month or three times whole real body candle month or this one we're really aggressive because it's a strong they sell off market so we do a single whole real body 
days average true range month. And so I teach you exactly what to look for step by step. And I take you by the hand and do these trade walkthroughs. And I also put in, uh, you know, examples frequently of my real money trades I'm in. So you can see examples illustrated with actual live trades that I've done in my Fidelity account or my Interactive Brokers account. What's the length of a single major run before it stalls or pivots? Okay. What are the countermeasures for market maker and specialist traps? And hint, it's not looking at a level two box anymore. I used to teach how to shadow the axe back in the old days, the night a competitor rip all that off. Well, I teach how to look for differences in high frequency trading algos and program trading patterns that are they're hard to see unless you know what to look for. It's kind of like one of those word search puzzles. But once you see what's going to happen, uh, you'll be able to, to see exactly how to avoid market maker specialist traps, like buying into false breakout regions, how to avoid that. So that's another thing to look at. Another core trading strategy that you'll be learning is what I call sequential professional breakout trading. And basically, you want to look at how to s scale into, or like my colleague Van Tharp would call position sizing, or trade second chance breakouts. You know, what's the entry on a second run? Let's say you missed the first breakout. You know, let's say you're trading, what's a recent one? Like, Let's look at a tighter swing trade chart. Let's say you missed the breakout in Cabot Oil today or Southwestern, right? This is a cheapie. We'll also, we also cover some of the less expensive instruments for those of you who like those. We had a minor gap continuation. Let's say you missed that breakout. It ran from 7 to 8, up to 9 even, today. How do you trade again? Do you trade 950, 930, or do you wait till over 10? And that kind of thinking and that analysis on these charts is one of the key takeaways that you, you get with me. For example, you'll always find these kind of charts like DKS. Yeah, there's a cup breakout, there's a wide range candle, but I missed it because I was off trading something else or chatting with my girlfriend on my iPod or whatever. Anyway, how do you trade the next run? Do you trade inside this range? Do you wait up here? Do you wait till over 39 or over 40? And those type of thinking strategies make all the difference in the world from a professional momentum entry and exit strategy standpoint strategically and intelligently as you're looking at how to manage your breakout trades like a real trader does, right? At least I'll tell you what I do as a real trader. So those type of thinking processes for second chance breakouts or what I call cash cups, what are kind of gimmies or easy to spot breakout setups that are so good they're just irresistible because you, you know, uh, very, very confident it's going to keep running on up at least a few points for you. Uh, where is the exact inflection point for the breakout? I like to combine some of the candlestick patterns with the voice of the West for what I call rising sun breakout entries. Okay. And there's also new breakout strategies you'll be learning in my breakout mastery program as well for improving your entries and exits. Things like pullback profits, what I call mother load breakouts, which is basically looking at how to change your entries from where you're currently trading to a slightly more successful approach or potentially more successful approach. And also reversals. How do you exit your trades before good trades go bad? So that kind of thinking or that kind of strategic intelligent approach. Again, I should be doing this as part of a platinum inner circle mastermind blah blah named $10,000 a year coaching program. I'm one of the world's top foremost recognized award winning authorities on breakout trades. You may have seen me the last six months in stocks and commodities the last 15 years at the Traders Expos. Always on breakouts, right? I'm the breakout guy. Well, one of the, I'm the go-to guy or one of the top go-to guys for breakout trades. One of the things I want you to learn is a thoughtful step-by-step -step series of activities and interactive coaching. You make the call, pull up a chart. I don't just, you know, lecture at y'all. I used to teach MBA courses and undergraduate as well as being a corporate trainer for over 102 Fortune 500 companies with my around a training and organizational development business and everything from quality management and uh, business process reengineering to supervisory management skills. I've trained thousands of over 31,000 people around the world and I like to make it interactive for my corporate adult learning theory background which another competitor also ripped off the idea. Uh, I like to give you guys it just bothers me a little bit. One of my colleagues he's on CNBC a uh, the traders coach he told me don't sweat it. The, the more visibility you get, the more you'll get copycats. It's just part of the territory. So, you know, don't cry about it. Just move on with uh, doing what you do and everybody will recognize, you know, where it came from once they see the difference in intelligence and success rate of the alerts and the training. So 
Anyway, this is our agenda for the first six months of the year. I'm not going to read all this stuff. I'll let you look at it on the site. But we have some really good topics that have withstood the test of time. I have not changed the core agenda uh, for Breakout Mastery in five years. We have the same topics each January, February, March. We have brand new charts and brand new updated techniques that are custom fit, kind of hand in glove with the current market conditions. That's so a very intelligent, strategic, step-by-step -step approach to looking at professional entries and exits. And I'm not going to beat my chest about, I am a trading champion because I trade 60 mini contracts against my best buddies. But they don't invite me to the trading champ. I've never been invited to a trading championship in my life in 15 years because they're marketing gimmicks by people and their friends. None of my institutional clients, none of the Wall Street guys I know, none of my professional colleagues, the top industry experts, we don't get invited to these so-called trading championships. So take it with a big honking grain of salt. Uh, so who are you actually champion against? Oh, your friends and your marketing buddies. Oh, that doesn't really ma matter for much. And what were you trading that you made you a champion? Oh, I was trading 68 contracts of the E-mini futures for three ticks at a time. Well, good luck with that, but the rest of us, we like stock swing trading, all right? That's the for core foundation of what I teach professionally and what I, te what I uh, do in my own trading accounts professionally. I've traded millions of dollars worth with proof that I've done so, right? So whether you're day or swing trading, Selling into open range breakouts on gaps, uh, another good strategy to learn. Uh, you know, your goal is to keep really tight stops, and when you win, you win a nice healthy amount, which when magnified by multiple trades adds up for the day, right? So, you know, it all adds up. It all feeds the kitty. And as a guy who actually has made it as a trader, I can teach you the difference between what I've learned and the difference between very advanced techniques that I cover here uh, and everything else that you may see out there in the industry. So... This should be a three to five thousand, or at least a thousand or two thousand dollar course, but it's only four ninety seven for an entire year of monthly webinars with me. So it's a stone cold bargain. I will be raising the price after January twenty sixth. So you do have a week or so to think about it. So I do encourage you to sleep on it. No rush. I'll be here. I just raise my prices, just like a good stock goes up. A good quality educator. I should be marketing to the affluent as a market the world's top marketing guy Dan would say and pricing this stuff at three to five thousand not down in not down at the Walmart pricing range but I make it up on volume I get so many hundreds of you here it's it's worth it for all of us so and you have my word I'm very sincere and authentic and a real trader and very effective at my teaching I put together a very good detailed advanced breakout strategy session that's easy to follow and this is the agenda for the tail end of the year, the last six months of next year. So I'll let you look at that on your own at the website at Breakout Mastery. Anyway, let's take a look at some charts and I will answer any questions that y'all might have. Intraday trading, remember you want charts like CRZO or Cabot Oil, right? Anything that's running up be on the lookout for shooting stars. By the way, a quick tip for day traders is five-minute shooting stars are really, really powerful reversal signal, not so much the one-minute. You're going to see a lot of one-minute shooting stars that are not actionable. I like using five minutes as the very strongest decision support tool uh, for entries and exits for pivots. Once we get in on a two-day high breakout continuation play, a loss of, say, a shooting star low right there would be the technical exit at say 1830 so long at 1760 and out at 1830 now if you're a swing trader which most of you I'm gonna assume are we, we I cover plenty of good professional day trading examples throughout breakout mastery but whatever type of trader you are I can accommodate you with example if if I cover a topic like avoiding a false breakout and you say hey Ken how do I apply that with say a forex chart or with a a stock day trading chart. I will pull that up for you with a good example from today's charts and we can go through it together as a team. Okay, so you know, what you want to avoid is charts like this one, ROVI. Who can tell me why this would be a stupid chart to trade? Why would this be an absolutely perfectly horrible chart that only a I won't say a complete moron, but somebody who doesn't know how to trade would trade this instrument? Why would anyone? Because it is breaking out no, Sparky. The range is too low. It only went 16 to 19. It's only got three points of total range. And your profit projection on an exit for a swing trade, this is a 15-day chart, is roughly half the range. So I don't know about you, but I don't want to trade for one and a half or even best case three points. That's a stupid trade. 
and you get false breakouts in these kind of charts. So, you know, don't you have to learn the difference that one of the keys to success in trading, I'll tell you, having made it, is the difference between the very strongest continuation charts that are clean and wide range and continuously moving up and charts that are chopping up and down. OK. Now, this chart is worth trading. So compare and contrast, please. Put on my MBA professor's voice. Compare and contrast and talk to the trader next to you the difference between Rov and DKS and make your case for which one's better. And I will contend that DKS any day of the week because it went from 34 to 38. That's a four point range and it's single length of a breakout run. So that makes it instantly more attractive to us as professional breakout traders than some Rovi chart which made a maximum say point and a half two point run, right? DKS four points. So twice as much range out of that instrument, right? So that's a much better breakout chart. An even more superior chart would be one that has a precedent uptrend, not something that went sideways and then broke out. It has a nice 45 degree angle breakout. That's a much superior chart, kind of like a DNA helix, right? You can see it wrapped around the center line I drew. Uh, and I teach you how to draw center lines as well as figure out the entries, both primary and secondary entries as well. So thanks, I appreciate it. A question from Dan, am I using the ADMA? No, it's a 14 uh, SMA, a 14, I think it's an SMA. Pretty sure it's a simple, yeah, it's a simple moving average. A 14 SMA is the chart on that. And that's another decision support tool you can use. You don't, by the way, people usually use moving averages wrong. I used to be a, a corporate statistician for Ford Motor Company and a certified quality engineer. You're looking at data patterns and Things like Bollinger Bands are helpful because they look at the what a average, uh, what a standard deviation bell-shaped curve would look like when wrapped around the center line or the central measure central tendency for the chart. That's all helpful, but the main thing to look at is price action and who is moving up strongly on high volume lately above. This is almost an inverse head and shoulder, left shoulder head, right shoulder. The main thing is it's taken out a new 15 day cut pattern high up here. So that puts it on my, I'm excited. I'll, I'll get in long if it breaks somewhere over 45 and a half. Maybe I'll wait till over 50 depending on the trading day. But it broke above this moving average line and has continued its move up from 40 to 45 for a five point run in just two days. The force is strong with this one. So those are the type of things, you know, Learning the difference between good charts like this bad Rovi chart, these aren't the droids you're looking for. You don't want this kind of chart, gang. You want charts that actually have some juice to them and some spark and some pep in their step that can go from 43 to 59, a 7 or 16 point run. Actually, it ran from a low of 43 to high of 62, so a 19 point run. Anyway, lots of juice in this chart. That's why I'm long FAZ. The difference between tradable charts and everything else out there is one of the most valuable techniques you'll pick up as a trader. And what I back it up with, you know, I have real money trades that I've done for years and proof of having done those, which is why there's 83,000 views so far in the years I've had this thread alive. 80,000 people, well, I don't know how many people, it's probably, I don't know, 15, 20,000 people collectively doing maybe 83,000 views, whatever, really popular thread because I show real trades. And one of the industry's proven top experts in breakout trading is featured in money show and stocks and commodities. So anyway, and for less than the price of one or two blown stops, you can be with me for a whole year. So that price goes away next Tuesday and I do not extend it. It'll be up at 695 or 795. So it's not going to be up at the normal 1295 like I used to charge, though I probably should still because I had plenty of people register at the 1295 price, but uh, until next Tuesday, and there's no upsells and no hidden back in like my competitors do. There's no trying to get you into some $10,000 platinum inner circle mastermind hoo-ha rip off $10,000 a year crap. I, I don't do that. That's why so many of you have been with me so many years. What you get, I'm very plain spoken. I'm here in Colorado. You know, what's, uh, what you see is what you get. I give you good professional training from a real trader with proof I'm a real trader. Uh, and I give you good thoughtful step-by-step -step directions that you can use each month and a watch list that we update each month with featured charts plus whatever you want to cover as well. So I tell you all about it in this 
long website and you can see what hundreds of 283 I think other traders have posted comments so far about my breakout mastery training as well so I hope that that answers any questions that you might have I may want to see these these are for me like eight years ago this was tell you a story this was when um, Tim Birkin was still with uh, money show and uh, Tim was interviewing me at Mandalay Bay, which I love. It's one of my favorite hotels. Mandalay Bay and Bellagio are my two favorite Vegas hotels. And I do my seminars at MGM. It's fun, too. It's kind of like spring break. Uh, lots of young people at MGM. And a pretty good poker room, too. But anyway, here's me talking with uh, Tim on tape reading, position sizing, and trading with pilot trades. And you can take a look at the links for those videos at Breakout Mastery, too. So I hope that my expertise can help you make bigger winning trades more often. And that you can make it as a trader because it's tough. It's tough out there. And you have my word. I'll do my very best to give you very thoughtful, specific, updated, new strategies. And this is totally a lot less than I should be charging. We all know it. Normally I charge $12.95. So that's what I think it's worth. But I'm putting it down to $4.97 just to get a flood of new traders in. And for all of you who've been enrolling, by the way, the last couple of weeks, thanks. I have sent you your GoToWebinar first link. Uh, some of you have sent your logins to the, uh, the members area. So others I have not yet had a chance to send those, so be patient. You will get those by next uh, next Wednesday, so you'll have uh, access to the download area to download that. So, And for the first time in history, I'm doing it at a super bargain value for a subscription, so there's no big commitment. You can try it for a month or two and see if it's for you, and a lot less than $97, even it's only 47 a month. And for that, you get a complete webinar with me each month, plus a downloadable video, plus you can ask me questions during the webinar. Uh, I don't take email questions. i got thousands of traders and me, so uh, I do ask that you save questions for the webinars, and I generously give them my time and answer all your questions and all that during the events, which, by the way, is some of the most exciting place you'll be in the trading industry is our Breakout Mastery Q&A sessions, because I like to facilitate these Q&A at every single session, Remember, I'm a former corporate Fortune 500 trainer, UCLA graduate, and Cal State Long Beach. I got two degrees, a master's in organizational psychology. Uh, anyway, I've got multiple degrees, and I'm a sharp cookie, and I like to give you guys professionally moderated Q&A time with me. So we look at live charts together, and I ask you a quiz question. How would you trade it here, uh, and why? And any questions that you might have about that particular chart or that particular trading strategy that you'll be picking up each month. So... Anyway, it's good. It's my good signature coaching program. It's still quite the bargain until I come to my senses and raise the price like my marketing guys always tell me I should. Uh, but I'm not my competitors, thank goodness, right? I make it up on authenticity and quality and integrity and build the business the right way. And that's why I've got so many thousands of traders with me over the years. So thanks for being here. Uh, let's see. A question from Lee. So with your course, you learn how to recognize patterns. Would, do we learn how to find and scan for the stocks to apply the techniques to? Uh, yeah, I look at featured charts, and I teach you the patterns to look for. Uh, there's lots of places you can go to scan, and I've got various scanning subscriptions and all that you could get too. But uh, what I give you is anywhere from 12 to 20 charts each month, and those are the main charts that we cover. And I teach you the patterns that you can look for. So there's plenty of places where you can look at uh, you know, for scanning for, you know, percent gainers or 52-week highs or uh, CCI breakouts or whatnot. So, yeah, I do cover what to look for and how to look for it as well. Let's see, a question from Kaylee about what do I think about breakout of stocks like uh, CYBR. That's, in fact, one that we had featured successfully in our live trading room earlier on its first gap up. And that's a good chart. I like it because it's continually... Moving up, what I don't like about it is it's not yet up over its 200 moving average line. So this is a risky place to trade it. What I will often do is say put a pilot trade of, say, 20 to 50 shares on it, say a 50.5, and then tighten up a stop if it does hit the 53.5 exit target, and then add to the trade if it gets over 200 moving average. So I like to scale in and out using moving average breakouts. And you can see more on that particular strategy in stocks and commodities. Hey, sure thing, Lee. Oh, hey, Mira, thanks, yeah. And a question about moving averages. Yeah, these are all simple moving average lines. I'm not a big fan of using squiggly line indicators. I'm a bigger fan of trading 
good rock star breakout charts that have best price actions and being able to identify sensible entries that make sense right and that are good common sense entries that work out most of the time and then develop a step-by-step -step trading plan with you each month and break out mastery so that you can make the most of the charts and also adapt the strategies to meet your own needs and whatever you're trading on your terms in a way that makes sense for you personally so that's another thing I like to do in my coaching sessions like breakout mastery and again I've got kind of long video here well I don't know how long it is offhand but a few minute video here that tells you a little bit more about it uh, and you can see more information on the site in terms of the exact outline of what you'll be learning with me in the upcoming year ahead in breakout mastery thanks for those of you who have been ordering I see new orders coming in the email I appreciate that uh, I will be getting I will get your uh, go to webinar link for you for next Wednesday's event to you uh, you know within the next day or two and then I'll be getting you the login and password to the members area and it'll be your first name and last initial usually is what I, I individually set up individual logins and passwords if your name is something like Bob Smith it might be B-O-B-S-M or something your first name and last initial or two and that'll be your login and then a kind of random password so anyway I'll be setting those up for all of you who are registering as well so anyway thanks so much for being here I appreciate it um, any other last questions before I wrap? Oh, hey, it's good to hear from Mike saying interesting. Tidorg Psych 2 and many other courses in Psych and Anatomy and other correlates. CQE, CQA. I don't have a CQA or Reliability Engineer, MBA, or MS. Good, good to hear it. I tend to, to work with and relate and resonate best with the most intelligent people, just to be honest. I'm not one of the I I'm not for the masses. I'm not for the people who. Uh, you know, aren't particularly smart. I, I'm, I reach and work best with the sharp pencils in the bunch. And in real life, too, that's one of the reasons why I got out of consulting was because, yeah, there'd always be the 20 or 30% bright, smart, shining stars, but the rest of the real world, like the great, late, great comedian George Carlin said, think how dumb the average person is. And then realize half the world is dumber than that. I don't have patience for it. The older I get, the more cranky I get. The only people I like are traders, uh, business leaders, and highly intelligent people, uh, and beautiful women, I guess, too. But yeah, for the most part, uh, but I don't like average people. I, I just don't get along with people who aren't sharp and intelligent. And so I tend to work best with those who are well-educated, smart, the Yavis Hound syndrome, right? The uh, Not so much ya the Y in Yavis. Most of my traders are older than me. But uh, I work uh, very well with a lot of people who have a very passionate interest in trading the markets and doing it intelligently with very good sensible price action strategies and very step-by-step -step action plans and there's even a PDF downloadable template in the members area you can get to as a trading plan as a resource for you as another bonus so but anyway yeah that's a that's a good thing if you're not I will I'm very candid too I'm completely honest I'm honest to a fault if you're not particularly smart you may find I go a little fast all right the good thing is it's on video, so you can go back and review it. If you are, however, you know, a good, reasonably intelligent person uh, that has a good quantitative background, understands how to trade, you're a real money trader like I am, and you've been beaten up on bad trades and made successful trades, and you've come out somewhat successful and, and figured it out. So, you know, this is a bad day for me, like 150 bucks down with itty-bitty stops. I got all those chances to get right, and I still screwed up. It only cost me 150 bucks, so no harm, no foul. Big whoop right and on a good up day you know if I'm up 800 bucks okay that's good and those kind of numbers are what you need to put in your favor as a trader not day trading e-minis or penny stocks or even options a lot of what I teach here by the way I got a lot of options traders too you can use the patterns to help you identify you know calls and puts and all that for uh, in price volatility but I, I think options trading is kind of something you want to add on to or as a second step once you become a skilled stock swing trader at least that's my own progression I like to make it first as trading the underlying because I don't have to get timing right with options expiring worthless. I just have to get the price right and then I have the luxury of timing my exit where I want it on my terms, not when some option arbitrarily expires. So that's the, the big drawback to options. Yeah, they're cheaper, but there's a big penalty associated with that cheapness. Okay. Just like meeting loose women in nightclubs yeah they're easy but there's a price that they're gonna try and take all your money or they're not honest people so 
uh, is to use kind of don't hate the player, hate the game. I used to go to nightclubs a lot, but I learned my lesson, and instead I chose to marry somebody who's honest and a very family values person. We've been together 17 years now, and celebrating 17 years with the same person, good faithful marriage all this time, good honest, straightforward person. That's what you want in your trading too. It's not somebody who's a flash in the pan trying to have you guys day trade risky instruments or whatnot like e-minis or or futures or penny stocks or that kind of crap. You just want to sensibly trade. You know, you learn. You get, you get mature, just like I did with the ladies in my life. I learned that just because they got long legs and they look hot in a nightclub dance floor, and yeah, I mean, to be honest, they're a lot of fun, but they're not the kind of people you want to settle down with and marry. Uh, as a trader, you don't want to get married to your stocks, but you do want to learn how to trade sensible, reliable instruments that, that have better price action uh, and aren't flash in the pan, glitzy all over the place and end up at the end of the day costing you money. Uh, your money's hard earned, right? At least mine is. Uh, all of our money is hard earned and we want to trade instruments that have an actual shot of hitting and running, if not on the first chance, on a second chance or a third chance uh, and actually making bigger winning trades for you more, more often, you know, on your terms uh, in a way that makes sense. So, you know, be cautious with uh, who you learn from. There's some good people out there, but most of them aren't. So, you know, as you're looking at charts, make sure you're learning the right charts to trade as well. So, anyway, that's it. No big hard sell or anything. I hope to see in Breakout Mastery. Uh, if I don't, I'll still eat steak and lobster, but maybe you won't. So, I, I hope to, to see you guys there. Uh, I want to help you turn your trading around this year. And this is a great way to do it with advanced. The main thrust of Breakout Mastery is advanced stock swing trading. Okay, It goes beyond what I've taught in any of my other trading courses. Now, I've got other alert services that are actually extremely good to get in addition to this so you can get even more timely alerts. This is a monthly, you know, once a month at the end of each Wednesday, we have a, a very good sit-down core strategic immersion coaching session where I very intelligently go through a series of patterns and 15 to 20 charts to illustrate how to use those patterns in the upcoming weeks ahead and teach you with interactive activities uh, and Q&A, kind of more relaxed environment where it's a safe learning environment where we can do that without having to be there minute by minute in live markets or in a, a compressed time frame. We have a little more leisurely time to have more advanced dialogue and I can answer your questions and you can pull up charts of your choice too. So it's a really good opportunity to learn with me. So hope to see you there. Uh, if you're not yet registered, give it some thought. And if you have any questions, you can click the support tab. And by the way, that's the best and only way I ask that you contact me. Click a support tab on one of my 70 odd websites. Uh, and the Zendesk always gets through email filters. So I will get your email and you will likely get my reply if and only if you use the Zendesk support tab. Otherwise, it's kind of hit and miss, especially if you got America Online or SBC Global or Comcast. Those emails almost never get through their spam filters, so definitely use the support tab uh, to contact me. And if you have any pre-sale questions, either ask me now or ask me in the next five days or forever hold your peace because the bargain, the discount goes away forever on Tuesday, January 26th. So it's a great deal, gang. I'm not asking $1,000 or thousands of dollars like I should. It's uh, had been twelve ninety five, which is reasonable. That's about $100 a session. Uh, here it's less than 50 bucks a session, right? So it's a stone cold bargain to learn with me, you know, top, uh, you know, recognized authority uh, in breakout trades with proof that I actually trade. So anyway, I hope to see you guys there. And I think that'll be do it. Um, that'll do it. Uh, yeah, Mike, yeah, time in sales is great for intraday. Question from Kaylee. Do I always have one and a half stop or do I have tight? Stop for swing trades. Yeah, it varies depending on the chart. Usually a point and a half to two. If you're trading, say, a $50, $60 instrument, the maximum drop dead stop loss is a two day low. So, for example, in this FAZ chart, a two day low for a stop would be a loss of, say, 53, right? That's, I'm sorry, a loss of the 50. Six here, 53 would be a three day low. Loss of the aggregate two days. So if you're long FAZ, a smart exit would be say 55, maybe 55 and a half. Loss of a two day trailing stop. And we go over those exits in the events too. Hey, good to hear, Mike, about the new Star Wars. You know, hey, thanks, Mike. Appreciate that. Hey, Ken saying, uh, CJ says it's worth every penny and more. Well, thanks. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Ken. Yeah, I work hard at this, you know, as you know, you've been with me, right? So it's, I work really hard at this. 
I'm at that level in my trading industry career where I should be like my competitors up in multi-thousand dollar price points, but I still try and be trader friendly and show you the difference between how to actually make it. And my hope is that by offering all my training at such a, a decent price, you know, I'm a top industry expert. I should be compensated accordingly, but I'm still giving you guys, you know, Cadillac or Ferrari level quality at Walmart low pricing or whatever, but I make it up on volume. And the main thing that I'm after is earning your trust with competency. That's my main win as a business, as a smart business owner. And if you're a business owner, you know this. I, I make, I've done millions of dollars in sales, and the way I do that is repeat sales to people who have earned the trust of over many years, right? And that's how you make it as a good, honest businessman is not trying to fleece people with multi-thousand dollar flash in the pan BS coaching programs that are rip off and if you've ever been on the wrong end of spending five grand on a coaching program and realize hey the guy doesn't even trade all he's telling me is journal my trades and use discipline and how did you feel about that last year you know that kind of crap that you've been taken right make sure that you learn from people who prove they trade make sure you learn from people that have video testimonials of people they've worked with where was that slide so you've got a choice. Kind of a cool graphic, eh? You've got a choice. You can go to loan or you can join me. And I'd encourage you to join me. At least do the monthly. And stick with me a couple of months and see if it's for you, right? Minimal up front is $47. I mean, $47. That's stone cold bargain for professional training. Uh, 47 a month. Uh, and you can save nearly half off if you want to do the annual prepay uh, if you enroll by next Tuesday. So that's good at Breakout Mastery. Remember, a public service announcement for traders. The picture of the obligatory hot customer service girl. Um, choose who you learn from carefully. Three simple tests. Kind of like that great TV series with Kaylee Cuoco and John Ritter called Eight Simple Rules for Dating My Daughter. Well, three simple tests before learning with a educator. Make sure they prove they're a real trader with brokerage, P&L, recent screen caps of real money trades. Make sure they have video testimonials. Most educators don't. There's a reason for it. I have more than anyone in the industry. And I do have more video testimonials than anyone in the whole industry. Check, and you'll see. No one has more video testimonials than Ken Calhoun. Bum, 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 bum. And thanks to all of you who posted those for me at my live seminars in Vegas and New York and uh, Denver and California and whatnot. And make sure they're widely published and they have industry credibility. So those three acid tests are things that you should put in the technical, the trust gauntlet before you trust any educator number one are there P&L screen caps of recent real money trades not simulator accounts but real money P&Ls like I show video testimonials and are they widely published and well respected and award winning like I am those are the time how many years have they been in business all those kind of questions you want to ask yourself so anyway hope to see you in breakout mastery that's it for tonight I hope this has been educational I've given you a good insight in terms of the quality and intelligence and thinking uh, unparalleled in the trading industry. Very few people are able to teach at this level and I hope that I'm able to help you make bigger winning trades more often once you join now. That's the call to action. CTA, join now. Buy my course. It's a great deal and it is for less than the price of one or two blown stops or a monthly which is like hardly any more than a commission cost or whatever uh, you can get on board and there's no upsells no extras no hidden back end no shenanigans like these stupid ripoff competitors of mine use uh, i'm an honest trader and uh, hopefully i can help you guys make bigger winning trades more often so anyway thanks so much for being here i appreciate it and i will see you guys later i will post the video on my youtube channel probably later tonight so it'll be there too if you want to take a look and again don't what i do want to ask you though i was kind of hesitate when I post it on YouTube that's the pricing that's only good and make this really clear that price is only good until January 26 it will absolutely positively without a doubt it's worth the 1295 that many people have paid in the past it will be up I don't know if I'll do 1295 it might be 695 or 795 or whatever but it'll be much higher after January 26 so you have until then I don't have a countdown timer I'm kind of getting away from those but uh, you do have until next Tuesday to register. Uh, that's a great bargain, and that's the lowest it'll be ever offered at, uh, and that's only for the next week. So that's a good you know, incentive to take action. I always like to reward my early adopters by giving you guys fantastic pricing and great value, 
And so many of you have uh, renewed over the years. I appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate your renewing to be with me for another year ahead. We've got lots of exciting new features coming up in Breakout Mastery as well as our ongoing core training. So thanks for being here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.